Hey everyone. So I normally do morning readings, but I was uh, away and, and um, off doing some random adventures in Sydney. So it's going to be a late one tonight, but still Monday and still love to bring you some crystalline info for the rest of your week. So um, I'm just going to tune in with these cards and see what jumps forward for Monday, 4th of June. And um, yeah, I just want to know how everyone's going, how everyone's cruising. I've just had a jumping card, so we've got turquoise. Let's have a look at turquoise. So as a lot of you may have heard, there's been a lot more volcanic activity happening on the planet. Had some friends in Guatemala say that, um, yeah, there's been some a lot of ash clouds happening over there after the volcano has exploded. And, um, you know, many a lot of people are, are stuck in that area. But, you know, again, it's just the earth changing and shifting. So turquoise is all about the spirit of the earth. And it's also more about the ascended earth or making a shift into a higher frequency. So sometimes in order to make these shifts physically within our bodies and also on a planetary level, there has to be, um, you know, adjustments that may feel brutal, that may feel intense. So um, the planet for a long time, the main, I guess, earth, earth grid frequency is more in the Jasper realm, which is a red energy. It's very grounded and stable, whereas turquoise has always been um, connected with the earth, but it's a, a, higher, um, a higher level, a next step in evolution as far as an earth grid goes. So we are shifting. Hey, Kylie, good to see you on there. I'm going to um, pull your card if you like too. So yeah, it's it's nice to see people on here and um, and really lovely to share this with you. So Kylie, let's see what jumps out for you. Gorgeous. Okay. Fluorite. Okay, fluorite is the stone of mental mastery and it's also one of the stones that I know you would love because it forms so beautifully in different colours and amazing geometric forms. So I know you're a big fan of sacred geometry. So into turquoise big time these days. I know like turquoise is one of those stones that is, um, yeah, just super popular in collective consciousness now and that's for a reason. You know, we're all called into those turquoise colours for a reason. And when, when there's a, um, like a trend in what's popular, there's a reason for that. And when there's a, uh, a higher quantity of certain stones available in our shops, like when we go into a shop, you know, rose quartz is a super popular one as well. It's because on a whole, as a humanity, we need those qualities to really help our evolution, more so than some of the rarer crystals. So, um, yeah, fluorite, all about how to bring um, organisation for you, how to bring all these, tan these ideas into something tangible. How can you structure them all and put steps in place to bring your ideas through? So I'm going to move right on into pulling the three cards for our week. Okay, great. I was actually just gifted with some clear calcite today. So clear calcite is our first card. Another beautiful card that forms in many different ways, but often in rhombic shapes. So it's also a stone of the mind. Fluorite and, and calcite, clear calcite specifically, are about the higher mind and about bringing order and precision to these spaces. And it's about connecting into something that's beyond our own thoughts and all those kind of um, random things that pass through your mind and collecting more into a divine will mind, so to speak. So the animal that connects with this card is the hawk. So the eagle hawk can fly high and get really great perspective. So how can you bring greater perspective on your life um, rather, rather than getting caught up in the nitty-gritty aspects of your life. 
giving yourself perspective for an overall view on how to move forward and how to bring a higher level of expression um, through ex and the word is expression I mean this turquoise card that came up it is about expression how to bring your true authentic expression forward and then right in the middle we got obsidian this one is yeah definitely a powerful transformer obsidian the stone of true self-reflection i mean here in byron bay and this whole northern region is all about or like all very much grounded in the obsidian plates anywhere in the world where there's a lot of volcanic um activity like hawaii even guatemala where all these these volcanoes are erupting this is all obsidian land. This is land that has been alchemized through the heat to create this glass-like stone as a base rock. And obsidian was used by our ancestors as the first mirror. So before we had reflective mirrors that were shiny and bright, they were actually obsidian mirrors. So we saw ourselves as dark reflections. So this is the stone of really looking into your shadow and not judging it but just seeing that reflection of yourself and that's why so many of us travel to areas such as byron bay such as hawaii such as you know all these places that have this um, volcanic and powerful land because it gives us the opportunity to really look deep inside of ourselves and maybe just entertain or just be present with the whole story, not just the shiny, happy parts. So um, we've been asked really to get a deeper or a higher perspective and also to look deep. So we've got two kind of very much opposing on some level, but very much balancing energies here so we can make a, a bigger shift. And the outcome towards the end of the week, we've got citrine. So citrine's a beautiful card because it's all about abundance. And not just in financial abundance, but that's still very much key when we talk about bringing abundance. It comes in so many ways, obviously, but what is our currency? You know, asking yourself, what is the currency? Just that feeling like, I got this. So how can we bring greater expression through and allowing that abundance or that new way to support what your you through your own perspective and through your own deep insight into yourself allow that abundance to flow into you so um yeah this is a quite a lovely and potent trinity this week so if i was to sing these cards together it would go something like this when i can get greater perspective onto my life and i'm willing to look deep inside myself i realize that everything i could possibly need is right here inside of me. So that is the reading for today. Great to see you, Kylie, and lots of love to everyone else out there. Mwah!